In this video, I want to show you how to use interrupts for digital input for your add tiny 85 microcontroller. So we have the same button, the same uh, circuit that we had last time, except that uh, now we are connected to pin seven instead of pin six. So the way this is going to work is when you press the button, the LED will turn on. When you let go of the button, the LED will turn off. But uh, this time we're going to be using interrupts. So the reason why I'm using pin 7 is because I want to use the uh, int 0 interrupt which is connected to pin 7 and that is uh, port B pin 2. So let's go ahead and look at the code. So this is my code. I have included the uh, interrupt.h file. I have also created this function which I will show you what it does in a moment but uh, first let's look at our main function first thing you want to do is make your LED pin which is PV0 and output you want to make PV2 which is PV2 I mean you want to make PV2 an input which is PV2 uh, and then you want to enable the uh, pull up resistor at PV2 turn off the LED and then enable the interrupt so if you go to your data sheet it'll say that you have to set this bit to 1 and also the uh, global interrupt bit so let's go to our data sheet here that is the uh, register that will enable my uh, interrupt so notice here that it says that I have to set this bit to 1 and I also have to set the uh, status register I bit to 1 so you do that with uh, these two lines of code next you want to tell your uh, program how we are detecting the interrupt are we detecting a falling edge, rising edge or any type of change I want to detect any type of change so I have to set this bit to 1 and this one to 0 notice that I'm inverting there so that will change this to a 0 without affecting any of the other bits so we go, uh, these are the uh, different combinations that you can use uh, if you want to detect any logical change like I do then I'm using 0, 1 for uh, these two bits respectively in my while loop I don't have anything and the reason for that is because the way interrupts work is uh, you define your function for the interrupt but you don't have to call it it'll call itself automatically whenever in this case whenever any logic change occurs at that pin where my interrupt is located so whenever the interrupt is triggered this function will get called and then my code will return to wherever it was running in this case it will be inside this while loop so now let's uh, talk about this function uh, so if you go to the website that I have here and I will post a link in the description you will find uh, what that function means and how to use it for any type of interrupt in your microcontroller so I encourage you to read this page all the way up to here because the rest is just uh, pretty much datasheet information for uh, the name of the vectors and what they do the vectors are the uh, basically the interrupts and uh, it'll tell you which of them are available for which microcontroller so the one we are using is this one here which is the external interrupt zero and that one is available for the at tiny 85 so the format of that function is you type ISR and then the uh, name of the vector so that's ISR and the name of my vector so definitely read this page because it has other things like for example what happens if you uh, have two interrupts that trigger the same code then you want to use this type of uh, declaration which is you declare your function 
and for one of the uh, vectors and for the other vector you just uh, include this other parameter which calls the function that you had already declared so that's for triggering the same code with different interrupts but uh, so let's go back to our code so whenever the uh, interrupt gets called I check if I have a logic of zero at my interrupt pin which will mean that the um, button is pressed and in that case I turn on the LED otherwise or uh, I turn off the LED so this function will get called whenever you press the button which will change the logic from 1 to 0 and whenever you let go of the button which will change the logic from 0 to 1 and like I said I want to I had enabled any logic change so that's why the function gets called with those uh, two conditions that's it for this video I hope you learned something new thank you for watching